Hello, everyone. My name is Brandon Faulkner. I'm an intern for Village Core. For other events like this, be sure to check out villagecore.org or check out our YouTube channel where we upload these meetings in case you miss them. Today, we'll be discussing sleep trackers and specifically shut eye. So here we have a sleep app, uh, sleep app that has a 4.8 uh, rating and over 8 million downloads um, from people around the world. So essentially what shut eye is, it's, it's both a sleep tracker and it also records uh, audio while you sleep while at the same time providing you with either ambient noises, white noises, um, or other things of that nature. So sleep tra uh, so shut eye is um, only available on both uh, iPhone and Android. So this means that you can get it either on a tablet, on uh, an iPhone, on a smartphone, uh, anything in that nature, as long as it's uh, a part of the Google Play Store or a part of the uh, Apple App Store. Um, so essentially what, what this app does, as I mentioned before, is it tracks your sleep, it records your sleep for you um, through the sounds that you make in your sleep, such as if you sleep talk, anything like that, it can monitor when you wake up um, and then you can tweak it a little bit more um, to find out exactly what went out, what went on throughout your, throughout your night. Um, so here we can also see different types of uh, levels of sleep. So there's the awake stage, there's the light sleep stage, and then there's the deep sleep stage. So you can see here that we have um, different times and times in the night where it's tracking you uh, whether or not you're in your different uh, stages of sleep. So they have been uh, reported on by different uh, different news outlets. Um, so here we have a few such as Forbes, The Times, um, iPhone Wired, Best Health, and other uh, other organizations such as that. Um, they also have health impact by the numbers. So with this app, they're bolstering that they have a 91% fall asleep faster um, and stay asleep longer guarantee. They're also uh, bolstering an 84% reduction in stress and then an 88% um, refreshed and feel um, to be energetic in the morning. So the advanced sleep tracking and kind of how it works is um, it kind of tracks your daily sweet sleep quality. You see your phone already does this for you. Um, say if you set a timer. So through iPhone, um, through the iPhone function, if you set a timer um, using the bedtime function um, through the do not disturb, it essentially tries to track your sleep for you using the health app. So the iPhone will do this uh, just itself. It won't do all the fancy things that um, Shut Eye here will do. Um, but essentially what Apple will do is it will record how many hours you sleep. Um, it'll track when you woke up because if you tap on your phone, that counts as you kind of going on your phone, waking up, that sort of thing. And then it will keep your progress and track it throughout the night. Essentially, this is a really just really just fancy way of doing this, as well as adding other things on. If you do want to actually track your sleep in a way um, where you can get a little bit more information out of it, rather than just um, rather than just having your hours tracked. So here we have sleep insights, and then we also have smart automation. So these different kind of uh, sleep qualities. Um, so your sleep quality is essentially how well you slept uh, throughout the night. Um, so let's say I didn't sleep that well last night. Let's say I was tossing and turning. Um, I had a nightmare and the app would track that. Um, the app would be able to tell, okay, based off of his uh, speech patterns, the way that he's moving, the rustling of the sheets, that sort of thing, he was not having a good night. And um his sleep quality is deteriorate, deteriorate, deteriorated uh, because of that. There's also different kinds of sleep insights um, where here we can see um, kind of like tracking of the sleep. Sorry about that. Um, so basically like things like you woke up 15 minutes earlier than usual, which 
for somebody uh for someone that might be a little bit unusual um especially if you're uh going to bed at let's say let's say you go to bed at 1 a.m and you wait you usually wake up at 9 30 and then you woke up um then you woke up a little bit earlier let's say you woke up at 8 30 and your normal habit is always to wake up at 9 30 um, that might be deemed by the app as something that you need to fix um, if you do it repeatedly. If not, if you're just trying to change your sleep schedule and wake up earlier, you can kind of customize that within the app to set the exact hours that you want to sleep at and then wake up. There's also the smart alarm. Um, so the smart alarm um, kind of keeps you at the optimal point of sleep. Um, what it does essentially is it will gradually wake you up. So rather than your alarm blaring at you um, constantly, what this alarm will do is it will kind of rise and rise and rise as you start rising at your sleep. So rather than actually trying to immediately pull you out, dependent on what time you set it to, um, it'll begin just to rise, rise with the noise, rise with what it's doing. And then eventually it'll um, it'll get to a point where it's loud and then it will wake you up um, just as you so choose, uh, just at the time that you have set it out. So how exactly does it work and how exactly does it record you while you sleep? Well, there's three, there's, there's three easy things. You simply just download the app, you follow the activation steps, which essentially just means setting your bedtime, setting your sleep preferences, um, setting what you normally do during sleep. So if, let's say you're an insomniac. You could tell the app that you're an insomniac and then it takes you a little bit more time to fall asleep. But there is a way around that for, uh, with this app, which we'll get into later. Um, you could also tell the app that you um, sleep with a partner. So if you sleep with a partner, um, you can say, okay, there's somebody else in the room with me. Um, track my sleep solely rather than tracking my partner's. Um, there's also, um, also keeping your phone next to your bed. That's how it tracks you with the audio. And then just, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And then also keeping your phone charged and connected, um, in order to ensure that the app actually stays there and your phone doesn't die while running the app. Because obviously if you have an app running, um, it'll drain the battery overnight and through eight hours of sleep. Um, it could it could deteriorate your battery a lot. So you always want to keep your phone plugged in and next to you in order to make sure that that battery did not die and that your sleep can actually be recorded properly. So with Shut Eye, essentially what it does is it records sleep sounds, sleep stories, sound mix that you can make. This th this basically means like different types of rain noises, campfire noises, other things like that. There's sleep trackers. Um, there's sleep analysis, there's alarms, and then there's the companion app as well. So all this can be done by Shuteye. With YouTube White Noise, this doesn't do it. With the Shadow Machine app, this doesn't do it at all either. There's also sound stories and meditation. So essentially what this means is with the Shuteye app, um, if you're really looking to get kind of into um, either deep meditation or listen to a story um, or listen to music while you sleep. If you're one of those people like me who really enjoy kind of listening to like something to kind of wind down, whether it be music or whether it just be kind of like relaxing rain noises, Shut Eye has a ton of different kinds of features for that. So if you're somebody who likes to listen to a story before they go to bed, um, a story of long lost treasures, as we see here, there's a story about treasures and gold. Um, you have that option. You have that option to listen to that story. You have that option to um, kind of get into hypnosis, where uh, Shed Eye will kind of guide you along uh, that journey of kind of just winding down, uh, making sure that you have the right noises for yourself, and that you are falling asleep to what you want to fall asleep to. So, uh, let's say you really love to be in the coffee shops. Um, the coffee shops are where you enjoy most of your time and you feel at home at the coffee shops. They have that option for you to kind of listen along to the coffee shops and then later fall asleep to that um, and get a gentle sleep um, through those different kinds of functions. 
So there's the option to actually try these online sounds. So if I were to play that, it sounds like a genuine campfire or a seagull. Let's say you want kind of like a beachy vibe. Or let's say let's say you want to listen to piano music while you sleep. Um, there's also the piano function. So that's kind of some relaxing piano, or let's say you want keyboard noises. Or let's say, let's say you really like trains and you are always fascinated by trains. And at the same time, trains calm you down. You can listen to a train pass by. So there are different kinds of sounds for sleep. And then there's also keeping track of that sleep. So here we can kind of see the different kind of app interface. So you can choose your alarm. So the way that the alarm works is with the new iPhone function, um, this will be specifically for iPhone right now. We'll get into Android in a little bit. Um, choosing your alarm is the best op is the best option. So your home screen will match the alarm that you set. So if you wanna set your alarm to let's say a dog, like we see here in the photo, your home screen will be set to that as well um, in order to kind of keep you in that sleep rather than touching your phone. Because if you touch your phone, obviously while you sleep, you're not asleep, you're awake, and the app will record that as you being awake for such a long time. But the app will also remind you to kind of wind down, kind of get that sleep going um, rather than being awake. So we can also track it by the day, the week, the month, and I believe uh, you can also track your sleep by the year. Um, so tracking it by the day is a really good way just to kind of look at your sleep overall, uh, overall for the day to make sure that you got that, um, got that goal that you're trying to meet rather than just, rather than just thinking, oh, okay, I went to bed at, I went to bed at 1130 and I will get bed at 630. I think I got my eight hours. Rather than doing that, you can actually have an app that tells you whether or not you got your eight hours. So you can say, all right, I let's say I fell asleep at 1.20 in the morning and I want to wake up at uh, uh I want to wake up at 9 30. But the time that I was actually asleep for was um was only uh six hours and 30 minutes, which means I woke up at 7 50. So this means my sleep sleep quality wasn't the best, but at least I did get uh, six hours and 30 minutes, which means my sleep quality would fall, fall at a score, to, a score of 87. Um, and it would say that my sweet sleep quality last night was good. You can also see kind of like this kind of rising and falling of this graph. This essentially means when your brain is awake. So it will track your movements and it'll track how you act throughout your sleep in order to make sure it knows exactly at what point you woke up. So as you can see here, the lower valleys are exactly when you were in deep sleep. So the deeper the sleep you were, like at seven, like at seven here, this person was in their deepest sleep, which means, okay, that's a perfect time um, where you're dreaming at that point. Um, you don't care about anything else around uh, you in the world. Let's say somebody's outside mowing their lawn because it's 7 a.m. You're asleep. You're fast asleep um, and your sleep uh, and your sleep chart reflects that. Or at 5 a.m., it looks like they were wide awake. Um, so that is not something that's necessarily good. Staying in deep sleep is what you want. So how does this all work? So Shuteye recognizes, calculates, and analyzes um, the files that are recorded by microphone through artificial intelligence algorithms to, pro pro to produce your sleep um, status and information. So behind this, AI is working to kind of track your sleep, trying to find out what your sleep pattern was like. Because obviously you're not wearing like, you're not wearing a wearable to sleep unless you are. Um, then at that point, you would want a different app uh, for that to uh, for that wearable to track it. But let's say you have no wearables. Um, it's just solely your phone's uh, your phone's mic picking picking up your sleep 
uh, through the microphone and then an AI algorithm going in and kind of charting your sleep. That's exactly how this app works is the AI will kind of piece together how you slept, when you slept, and it'll pick up on those noises that you make throughout your night in order to make sure that it has as accurate as information as it can. Of course, since it is through your microphone and it's not necessarily something that you wear um, on you that tracks you, it won't be entirely correct, but it will try its best to be as correct as possible. Um, so in order to verify their app's accuracy, they have performed dozens of tests to compare um, our app against popular sleep trackers, which the results have shown that their app is accurate, which of course, you know, take that with a grain of salt um, when you're doing this, since it is AI um, tracking your sleep. Um, but it's important to know exactly what's going on, what's running in the background, and whether or not um, whether or not this algorithm can actually track your sleep. Of course, you don't have to stick with this app. You could switch around to other apps. You could try just the simple iPhone function of tracking your sleep. But this is kind of like a good way to um, this is kind of like a good way to actually track it, hear what's going on, see your sleep progress, and see when you're in the deepest of sleep. Um, so, so um, basically, we're going into other functions like how to use the sleep tracker. Um, once again, it's just recorded by Mike and then AI algorithm. There's a sleep quality score, which will, which will grade your sleep, just like you'd be graded on a test. So if you got 99 out of 100, um, you would have the best sleep of your life. That means you are absolutely insane and you just had the best sleep of your life. Um, and let's say you just got a 23 out of 100. That means you just had the worst sleep out of your life, uh, of your life and you just slept for probably like about an hour. Um, that is not good. Um, but the sleep, the sleep app will tell you how to correct that. Um, and then how to make sure that you are always staying asleep. Um, so there's the sleep cycles. Um, so there's five stages as you sleep, there's the light sleep, there's the deep sleep, and then there's the REM sleep, um, which essentially REM sleep means you're dreaming, um, and that you are in the deepest sleep possible. And so the quality of sleep is most important. There's your sleep analysis. And then the cool thing about this app is your sleep recording. So essentially what the sleep recording does is because the AI algorithm needs the microphone um, to kind of plot out your sleep, um, essentially what the sleep recordings do is they give you an insight into, into the noises that you made. So while we sleep, we don't necessarily know it because we're asleep, but sometimes we make noises and sometimes people pick up on those noises. And sometimes we think, I don't make those noises. I've never made those noises. I know me personally, I sleep talk, um, which has freaked my mom out in the past. Um, and so I don't necessarily know, I don't necessarily know of me doing it, but my mom has reported in the past that I have done it. So with the sleep recordings, with this app, um, I can say, I can tell the app, okay, I want you to pick up on every single time that I have, uh, I have slept talk, talked and exactly what I said. And the app will do that for me. It'll track exactly what I've said um, and then it'll play it back to me through a recording. And then it'll also highlight specific parts where I said it, either a long sentence or I said something very out loud and the app picked that up. So if I'm deep in the sleep and I'm and I'm blabbling on about something random and I'm going blah, 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 something like that, the app will track that for me and it'll record it and it'll play it back to me in order to make sure that we get that corrected um, and that I don't sleep talk. Also things that other people do um, and that I've done as well um, is sleepwalk. Um, so sleepwalking is a big issue because if you wake up a sleepwalker, there might be un there might be consequences um, to that. Um, but at the same time, making sure that you have that um, recording there with you to pick up exactly when you kind of start to get out of bed, um, but you don't necessarily know it. That is what this app can do as well. Um, especially with the mics that are running um, and it also tracking your sleep. So sometimes if we see these charts here, 
Um, sometimes you might be rising out of light sleep and then be fully awake. You might not actually be awake. This might be at 5 a.m. 5, 5 a.m. This might be a time where you are super active and you are talking or you're walking around your room um, based off of based off of kind of the microphone's frequency and what is picking up right there. Um, you can also learn a little bit more about cognitive uh, behavioral therapy for insomnia. So like I said, for insomniacs, this is a really good way to kind of like figure out what's wrong there, to kind of figure out kind of how you can fall asleep faster as an insomniac rather than relying on things like uh, medications to go sleep to go to sleep, like melatonin, um, since taking melatonin every, every single day isn't good for you. There are kind of ways that this app will try to train you on how to fall asleep without the use of melatonin and through the progress of just simply breathing or other things like that. And then it'll also kind of pair you, uh, it'll kind of pair you with the articles you can read um, and things of that nature. And you can also set kind of like training in order to make sure that you are falling asleep when you want to fall asleep rather than relying on these pills. Um, and it's also just kind of kind of there for you to kind of understand how your sleep cycle works and how you can sleep better and how the people around you can sleep better. So if you do want to use this with a partner, um, you certainly can. It'll pick up, um, it'll only pick up one person, but at the same time, you guys can both download the app and then at and then um, you guys can track your sleep together and you can see, okay, who got the better sleep? Who needs some help in the sleeping category? Um, and how can we better enhance their sleep later on? There's also sleep quizzes. So with sleep quizzes, um, there's the Are You Stress Quiz, which will give you stress evaluation. Um, there's also the sleep test, which will check your sleep quality um, with a short little quiz. Um, there's also a sleep apnea test. So if you have sleep apnea and you snore a ton, um, there's a sleep apnea test that you can take. Um, so this would be like shortness of breath, breath while you sleep, or if you uh, wake up um, all of a sudden because you can't breathe, that might mean that you have sleep apnea. And this app will recommend to you that you go get that checked out with a doctor, and then you'll get something called a sleep apnea machine, um, which that, that will um, kind of help you regulate the way you breathe. Um, and that'll keep your airways open and kind of help you sleep and not snore anymore, which I've been told is very annoying, um, especially when I snore. Um, although people just snore for uh, random reasons. It might not be sleep apnea. It might just be that you're a loud snorer, um, which is my case. So I so ba basically, you'll take this test. You'll see exactly what's wrong. You'll put in your results, and then it'll say, okay, you're either just a heavy snorer or you do have something wrong there with sleep apnea, and you need to go to get that checked. Um, and then also, when you do actually start out with this app, um, and you actually are creating your profile, um, you will kind of go through a test to kind of say, okay, he here's all about me. Here's how I sleep. Do I sleep on my side? Do I sleep on my back? What kind of bed I sleep on? Is it firm? Is it soft? Is it extremely soft? Is it, ext is it extremely firm? Something like that. What's my preference to sleep? So this might mean, okay, like I stay in deep sleep for long periods of time, or I'm very in and out of sleep, and I don't necessarily stay in those deep sleep periods. Um, and so I would take the test um, when first starting out the app, and then I would go through and curate exactly what I need to know and what the app needs to know about me. Um, I can also select preferences on kind of different kinds of nature sounds. So you can kind of customize with your nature sounds, as we can see here, um, the kinds of things that you want to hear at night. So let's say, let's say I'm somebody who really likes the rain and I really like um, having a waterfall in the background and I really like um, the idea of being near a river and listening to birds chirp. Um, I could do that. I could set this whole nature sound board here to rain, waterfall, river, and then birds. 
And then the app using its AI algorithm once more will curate different kinds of sounds for me um, to kind of listen along and to kind of fall asleep and to kind of get me into sleep uh, easier and faster. There's also kind of different, there's also kinds, uh, different kinds of mixes of sounds. Um, so there's your mix. <laughs> There's the uh, there's different kinds of mixes that you can customize. And then there's also kind of like healing sounds and sleep stories once more that you can listen along to. So this app really has it all. Um, it is it is not free, though. Um, there is a try free section, though, where you can try out the app. Um, you can go through and you can actually listen to uh, listen to the uh, sounds and uh, follow along with the app. Um, and really quick, it's not telling me here the cost of the app. Um, so I'm just going to really jump really quick, jump into the app store on my phone and pull up the membership for you guys. So the app is free. There are certain free functions that you can use with the app. Um, that would be the uh, setting an alarm. And that would also be listening along to partial recordings of your sleep. Um, but in order to unlock different kinds of sounds, um, in order to unlock kind of detailed charts of your sleep, that would be a subscription that you would um, use uh, with, this, uh, with this app. And I believe if it actually, yes. So you can try the free, uh, you can try the free version. Uh, you can try the free version of the app anytime you want, or you can get one week free. And then it's a six, it's a fifty nine ninety nine uh, dollar a year subscription after that. Um, so if you're looking for something that's not necessarily expensive, since you are making a one time payment for the year, then this then this app is for you in order to track um, your sleep and to get better sleep. Um, so other than that, I don't really have anything else for you guys. Um, once again, my name is Brandon Faulkner. Uh, I'm an intern for Village Core. For other events like this, be sure to check out villagecore.org or check out our YouTube channel where we upload these meetings in case you miss them. Thank you so much for watching.